So I've gone to Premiere Pro, I've sent this over to Audition, and Audition created a separate audio file called Extracted, Audio Extracted. You can name it whatever you want, but that's the default name. They just put Audio Extracted at the end of it. To remove, I'll just briefly show you this noise removal thing because uh, we'll work on it more later, but it, you'll be impressed by it, I think. I'm going to switch to the Spectral Frequency view here. And the Spectral Frequency view, what it does is it shows uh, audio frequencies, in other words, pitch, and it shows it in stereo here because this was shot in stereo and was shot with a, uh, a, a camcorder that recorded audio at 48,000 samples per second, which is typical for camcorders to record that. So it's a DVD quality audio, which is better than a CD. And if I'm, I'll, I'll zoom out here a little bit. Let me see if I am. Oh, let me see. Let me zoom out already. I'm going to ex change the view here. So you see the full frequency display? Okay, let me go. Change this to um, hertz instead of pitch. There you go. And I'll make sure we're expanded all the way out. And I'm going to look across here, and I'm going to change the view here a little bit. I'm going to uh, what's called decrease the spectral frequency. Control shift there. So control shift down arrow is the way to do that because I want to be able to see those clips a little bit better. And there's a click right there. That little line there is a click. I'm pretty sure. Let's listen for a second. You can actually hear. You probably can't hear that click go by, but that is a click. And what this represents here is the brighter the color, the louder the uh, sound at that frequency. So this is a very low frequency here at the bottom of the scale. And these are very high frequencies here. And that little guy there represents a click. And so I would want to go over here and fix that. I can fix that. I can select it using this little marquee selection tool. I can select it by doing this. I've now identified the click. I, I could make this narrower, but that's fine, just like that. So I've now identified that little area that creates that click sound. And I can go up to something called Favorites. Now, again, I'll explain this in more detail later. And this thing called Auto Heal. But I have a thing called Jeff's Auto Heal. Oh, it's not on here. So I, it's on my other, other, wor other workspace. So I'm going to go down to Auto Heal. And then I'm going to raise the volume a little bit because that's auto heal reduces the volume just a little bit. So I'll raise the volume about 3 dB. And I'll listen for that click now. And it's gone. So that little noise removal got rid of the click but didn't change the quality of the audio. I think there's a click over here. Right there's a click. You can see it. So I'll just marquee select that one. Do the same thing. Favorites. Auto heal, and then whatever auto heal has a tendency to lower the volume a little bit inside that little space. So I'm going to increase the volume of that space of like three decibels. I'll explain that in a second. And now that click is gone. You can't even see it anymore. And that is how you can, you know, use, make that workflow from Premiere Pro to Audition. And now I'm going to save this. I go File, Save. I'll go back to Premiere now. And that audio is now there. The extracted audio is now there. Separate, it's, re it's replaced the old audio. And that click that was there before is gone. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeff Sangstack, an Adobe Certified Expert and the lead instructor here at BlueEffects.net. If you want to watch this entire video lesson, as well as other live classes and After Effects crash courses, then I invite you to check out the Blue Effects After Effects Academy. Just click the link below this video to find out what we've prepared for you in the After Effects Academy.